So welcome back to the Morning Blend. Accountants have tax season. Santa Claus, he's got Christmas. Garden centers, they have the month of May, right? Gardening season is finally upon us, and today we want to tell you about a family-owned independent garden center that's been around since 1955. Mike Blumel is the owner of Blumel's Garden and Landscape Center, and he is here along with his retail manager, John Lewandowski. Great to see you guys. Hi, good morning. Thank you so much. I love the pictures behind us. I love what we have on the table. I bet people are just just happy when they visit you. Yes, most of our customers come in very happy. Yeah, because they want to see some flowers. Yes, and they're even more happy when they leave. <laughs> As you can see, the beautiful <laughs> plants we have and our customer service is, is excellent. So, See, here's the kind of question I would ask if I came in. I would say, I love the way that looks. Yeah. And I would say, but I don't know, can it grow in the shade? Does it need more sunlight? How often do I have to water it? Those are the kinds of things you can talk through with people to help them pick something that's just right for whatever area of their yard or their garden or their patio. Absolutely, our staff is very knowledgeable. We have, uh, in fact, some of our staff are master gardeners. So a lot of customers come to us because they know we will walk them through the process, show them what plants work well for them, which ones they should stay away from. And so, yeah, we, we, we're there to, to help anybody who comes in there. Help us have success. Let's yes. talk about the dome because I think that's your, your trademark. Yeah. A lot of people are familiar with it. Um, you've been around for a long time and that's what crowns your main entrance, right? Absolutely, yes. So originally that dome was on the South Division High School. It was started yeah. back in the late 1800s. It was put on and then in 1973 they tore down South Division High and they, they um, went to a salvage yard and we, we took it out of the salvage yard and, and put it on top of our building. It looks fantastic. Yeah. People recognize you wherever they go then. Yes. Absolutely. What do you specialize in? Well, we do a lot of different things, but we specialize both in the retail garden center as well as landscape construction and lawn maintenance. Mm -hmm. So you'll consult on, on bigger projects then if people want to put yes, in yeah. shrubs, plants, trees, mm -hmm. things yeah, like we have that. Full installation services and, and uh, full maintenance services. So, so you can so. design for people. Yes, yes and we, we do. do free estimates too. Oh, so. that's fantastic. Yeah. Um, what about your garden center? Because that's the thing I think people have so much fun visiting. Yes. It's award winning. It, it is award winning. Um, and a lot of that has to do with our, our excellent customer service, as I said. But uh, the last couple of years, no pun intended, but we've been really growing in our retail department. So uh, <laughs> we've really expanded. We, we, we grow annuals, we have perennials, rose bushes, vegetables. Uh, we're carrying shrubs now, um, herbs. We got anything you're looking for, we got. What do you think makes you unique or stand out from other garden centers or places that just sell plants? I think it's our family owned business and mm -hmm. the, the way our, our employees treat the customer yeah and we really care about each customer that comes in and you know we talk with them and show them what they need and, and go over the product line they're looking for mm -hmm. you must be in business as long as you've been doing this well, we hope we're doing, doing, doing something job, yes. right yeah yeah Hopefully absolutely we're right. we, um, we have the best employees so yep. that's fantastic and you have a coffee shop coming because I think it's it, I think people enjoy like I said you know, doing this kind of shopping and mm -hmm. dreaming um, about it yeah. um, so people can come and enjoy a cup of coffee yes now. well the, the whole idea behind the coffee shop is that we really wanted to make a truly unique um, shopping destination you know um, so it's kind of neat so people can come in they can shop the plants they can sit in the coffee shop uh, we get a lot of customers that in fact I had one customer tell me he said you know what my wife doesn't like gardening and I've never met his wife he's been shopping with us for years and he goes but she loves coffee so now he brings his wife so she can relax in the coffee shop and he can do shopping in the garden center. So it, it really works nice together. That's so, great. Yeah. Is this a good time for people to do this kind of shopping and planning in terms of the season and where we are weather wise? Well, the cold temperatures are still a little iffy. So I, I would recommend to hold off on planting any annuals okay. or vegetables, anything that, that isn't for our zone. Um, but hardier stuff like shrubs, perennials, that can be planted now. I will say that um, you know, we're not a huge garden center, so our, our, our stock is very limited. So we have a lot of people coming in now to buy annuals just because they keep telling me, they're like, we're worried when we come in to, to get it when it is yeah. time to plant, you're not gonna have it. So, um, so yeah, I, it, I would hold off on it. So if you buy a hanging basket or you buy a tray of plants, you know, 50s is okay. okay. Uh, obviously, if we get some 60 degree weather and stuff, you put them outside, but if we get 
in those 40s, especially mm. into the 30s. Especially I would put at it. Night. Yeah, at yeah, night. At I would, night, it's a little. Yeah, bit I cooler. would put it in a garage or, or a protected area, or put a blanket over it or something. So. I love these mugs that you guys brought. I just have to show everybody. <laughs> yeah, <thank you. laughs> this is the coolest mug with the the, the flower pot <laughs> and this handle. This is fantastic. Um, and I think this also we we talked about doing something for mom and it being Mother's mm -hmm. Day. I think some of these um, beautiful plants oh, yeah. with flowers are a great gift for mom because Excellent it's, it's not Absolutely. just flowers in a vase, but something that will bloom all, all summer, season even long. into fall. All season long, correct. And uh, hanging baskets are by far the most popular Mother's Day item. They are. Um, but if you're unsure what to get mom, get her a Blue Mills gift card. I mean, oh, she yeah. can use it in the coffee shop, she can use it in the garden center, and maybe bring her on Mother's Day and let her shop for her own plants, too. Or so. watch the kids and let her go by exactly. herself. Right. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and now you idea. say that, Molly, we just put in a big playground for, for kids to play in, too, so uh, we got something for the whole family. That's really fantastic. Do. Great to see you guys. It's fun to start dreaming about the next season, too. And here's what you need to do um, when you visit Blue Mouths. There's a special offer. They offer what's called the Blue Mouth Bucks every season to their customers. So you can get a dollar in Blue Mel bucks for every $10 that you spend. Then you can use those bucks at any on any of the retail items that are in the garden center. Visit this weekend. They're on West Loomis Road in Greenfield. The phone number is there on your screen or you can visit them at bluemels.com. And don't forget to ask for those Blue Mel bucks. Great to see you guys. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. Have a great weekend. Thank you.